Welcome back guys to a new Boom Beach video. I'm so pumped for today's video because Mega Crab is over and you guys have no clue how I did. I'm sorry about the lack of Mega Crab videos this past weekend. I was crazy busy with uh, school. I had this project I had to do and it was taking forever. Um, but besides the point guys, I was able to do Mega Crab off camera. Wasn't able to record, wasn't able to stream because my internet at college is so bad. But now is the grand revealing if you don't follow our Instagram or Twitter. I got I got I got this at you guys. I had nine attacks left um, when I hit stage 60. So, you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I was hyping it up to be the hardest mega crab ever. And uh, I don't know. Like it was rough, but I mean it probably was the hardest mega crab ever. Um it was just a lot of fun. I was expecting it to be more difficult to get to Diamond Statue. But still, nine attacks left, uh, which is good. This one was definitely the easiest statue, the very first Mega Crab they had. Um, well, the first Mega Crab they brought out trophies. So, another Diamond Trophy to add to my collection. And now, we have had seven Mega Crabs since the trophies have been released. 87 for the top couple guys in the USA. I don't even know about globally, but I'm sitting at about 476. Remember, guys, nine attacks left. I could have kept on going if I wanted to. Um, we're going to show you some of the late game hits um, of what it took. This base took three hits. <laughs> Wait, did it actually? Wait, was this the finishing hit? This may have been the finishing hit, in which case it only took two. But this has to be the finishing hit. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, this is definitely the finishing it. I've like this mega crab. I haven't had any major, major fails, major blunders. Um, there were a bunch of hits where I had less than um, 10,000 HP on the core, which was rough. But for the most part, it was a pretty normal mega crab. I'm gonna admit I watched a couple players, not on uh, on certain stages, stages that looked rough. I watched some uh, Boom Beach German or some um, Boom Beach Finland, I think it was. I, I I just watched like just some high level hits just to kind of see how the pros do it because I am by no means a pro at this game. Um, been using a lot of all tanks and bullet when the base has um, when it's like narrow where a bullet can soak up all of the damage and my tanks are fine. Um, Otherwise, I'll bring maybe one or two boats of Scorchers, or even a boat of Medics if I want, if there's like a lot of rocket launchers or a lot of splash damage that can hit my tanks. But pretty much my go-to strategy for this Mega Crab up to a certain stage was uh, Torch. Then we switched over a couple stages. We just went in using RZCM and uh, then all oh, tanks and bullet. This hit was just to clear the shields. Um, so I can come in doing an AZ hit next. Very basic hit. I'm just going to put on times four because it's pretty boring to see. Um, just landing my troops, getting them up here, parking them, and hitting the core. So basically my main goals were when it's possible, take down the shields in my first hit. Then go just a smoky hookah, smoky AZ to finish it off. The stages didn't have too much HP on them, which I liked and enjoyed. Here we go. This stage was rough. You're like, Christian, how can this stage be rough? It looks like a pretty easy stage to me. It was. It was an easy stage. Easy solo, right? It would have been an easy solo if someone was paying attention to the time left on the base. But no, <laughs> that someone was not paying attention to the time. So it was not an easy solo. But in all seriousness, guys, I got up to this stage was at 54, 55 or something, and I had like 15 attacks left. Not 15, maybe like 12 attacks left, which is way more than enough. So it's right about now that I realized, wait a minute, I'm actually very low on time. There's only 40 seconds left on the base. So I flared to the headquarters, completely avoiding all of these um, sniper towers and just tried to hit it and tried to deal damage the little time I had left and I wasn't able to do it but I'm not even gonna show this attack it's just me finishing it very easy 
57 was easy-ish. I don't know. I just went in using RZCM. As soon as the front rocket launchers are all taken out, there's really no splash damage until the very end. Um, this is kind of when I used RZCM. Basically, just trying to take down the shield generators. My main goal, I'll give you what I'm trying to do here, was to clear the shield generators, flare them up here, and take down the core. Um, earlier in the hit, I got a little confused and wanted to go over here and hit the core, but then I was like, why would I do that? That's just worse for me. So I decided to switch my plan around and go the other way. And uh, that 30 energy I spent clearing mines on the wrong side probably made the difference between me winning and losing, but... It's cool, I was able to get the statue. Yeah, like I said before, guys, I thought it would be way harder than it was. Um, but usually, um, on the leaderboards, I'm ranked like a thousand. And I always stop as soon as I get the diamond statue. So that tells me that like half the people weren't able to get the diamond statue. Um, that normally get a diamond statue, or just don't care. Anyway. Um, let me know. I I really want to know one thing. Do you guys like all your attacks up front? Or do you like um, when you get a new attack every couple hours? There's, I mean, every hour. There's benefits to both. There's disadvantages to both. Personally, I like getting all my attacks up front. But also, that way is way better if you have endless reserves. If you don't have endless reserves slash instant training... Um, I feel like getting a new attack every hour is going to be better for you. But also, you can actually sleep and attack on your schedule when you get all of your attacks at once. But, you always, you're going to spend like a couple hours straight just hitting Mega Crab if it comes down to it. Which is what happened to me. I uh, got like no sleep the two nights before because I was working on school stuff. And then Mega Crab Night, I spent all day working on school stuff. And I was like, oh crap, there's six hours left of Mega Crab. And I have to, I have like 30 attacks. <laughs> so I went on a grinding spirit, just grinded it out. Instant training came in clutch. Honestly, if they didn't have instant training, guys, Boom Beach would be not even close to as fun as it is right now. Um, and I'm not just trying to get you guys to buy instant training. I mean, I like it because I'm a YouTuber and it's helpful, but if you guys aren't really attacking a lot, it's not worth your $10. You know, if I had extra money, um, and I was just a casual Boom Beach player, and I heard about this Mega Crab, I would probably buy instant training, just 10 bucks one month, just for this Mega Crab, just so I could grind it out and have some fun. But if I didn't, or if I really didn't have the money, then I wouldn't. Do it anyway I mean if I had the money if I didn't have the money of course I wouldn't do it anyway 57 took two attacks or is this 58 this is 58 I'm getting so close to finishing stage I'm so glad we don't have to defeat stage 60 and look at boom beach just coming in clutch just giving you an easy base I'm not gonna show it to you yet giving you just tossing you an easy solo for stage 59 just like here's a freebie I just hit my mic. They're like, here's a freebie. Good luck. I believe in you. Look how easy this is. This is like the easiest base. Probably easier than some level 30, stage 30 bases. Maybe even stage 20 bases. It's just crazy easy. Just drop a bullet, get a bunch of tanks behind him, and you can just walk up the base. <laughs> it's so much fun. Okay. So... I hope you guys did enjoy this whole Mega Crab. Um, I loved it. It was a lot of fun. I'm so glad I got the statue. A lot of people in my comments in the last video were pretty low level. Um, sorry. <laughs> we're pretty low level. So um, chances are low level players won't have endless reserves. So it's a little harder for people who don't have endless reserves. Like I stated earlier. Just keep saying that. But yeah. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. It sounds like... The consensus is, overall, it was a pretty fun Mega Crab. Okay, we have Barrage Damage. We'll boost that bad boy up. We can 
convert. And I want to do one more. Grenadier HP or Rifleman damage. Oh, Rifleman damage 20%. That's actually a lot. We're going to boost it up and go Smokey Rifleman again sometime soon. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. Bye.